Hey, my name's Poppy. Um, I've got a Lush haul for you today. Now, I'm not really a Lush kind of person, um, but I popped into the store in Manchester towards the end of December to ask their advice on if they has any particular products that might help with muscle pain, um, both because I suffer from arthritis and get quite bad um, pain in my back and like muscle tightness um, and in my wrists, but also in terms of what things might help with muscle recovery after exercise, um, as well as what products might help with getting a better night's sleep. I do struggle with um, staying awake for many hours and just general calming products um, to help with things like anxiety. So yeah, the lady I spoke to had a lot of really helpful advice and she wasn't trying to sell me loads of things, which was great, but she um, yeah, let me try out lots of things and I picked up a few things back then. Um, and yeah, really liked the things that I got and that's what's led me to place this bigger order now. Um, so yeah. Here's the box. It smells amazing actually. I've had it on the side for a few days and yeah, every time I walk past I get a lovely whiff. So I'll talk you through the things that I picked up this time and then um, yeah, let you know what I think of the things that I've tried out before. Um, so yeah, here's the box. Exciting. I always love getting some post. Oh, that's lovely packaging. So each thing has got its own little compartment and is well packaged which is nice um so yeah i think this is going to be a bit of potluck as to what comes out first okay so the first thing which i did buy a few of actually because i really this i really enjoyed it when i tried it out um from the store and it's kind of yeah the reason i placed the order really is this which is called um the butter bottomancy bar um, so this was around eight pounds and this is one of their bubble bar bars um, which has got a CBD oil in it. So yeah, whereas with the bath bombs you pop the whole thing in the bath and then it's done. With these you break off a little bit each time into the bath. So I'd say it's yeah a lot more value for money in the fact that you could get as many or as few baths as you wanted out of this. Um, at first I was thinking I'd maybe split it into six or four but actually in the end even just like a little crumble of it was lovely so i managed to make it last quite a long time you still really felt the effect that you had to put something in the bath um but yeah it smells absolutely gorgeous um you can definitely smell the cbd oils in there um but also a lovely like woody smell um just having a look here at what else it's got in it um so 10% CBD mixed with 90% hemp oil. Um, so yeah, it says just crumble under the tap and um, relax basically. Um, so yeah, it still gives you lots of lovely bubbles. But the main thing I noticed, which I found particularly relaxing, was just the oils that were released. You really felt them in the bath, but also all over your body, even when you got out of the bath and kind of that lasting effect of those oils on your skin and just a really nice calming effect um, and that might just be the CBD oil um, and the kind of relaxing properties that that's known to have but also just the smell of it is so good um, so yeah really enjoyed that and I did I'm sure it wasn't psychosomatic or a placebo that I did sleep better after using this um, so yeah, I've picked up quite a few of these actually, um, possibly three. Um, so that's gonna last me quite a long time. I don't know how long they're meant to last in the cupboard, but I feel like um, that shouldn't be a problem really, because um, I'll use them up quite quickly. Um, okay, so the next thing I got is the Sleepy Body Lotion. Um, now this, I actually tried a sample of um, that I got from the store last time. Um, and this is a gorgeous um, body lotion, which obviously, well, there's nothing left in there. <laughs> obviously, um, the idea is that you put it on before bedtime, but, you know, I don't see why you couldn't use it at any time of the day, really. Um, but yeah, it's a, a gorgeous purple colour. Um, but yeah, this has got lavender in it, as you would expect, um, with a nighttime body lotion. But I would say it's nothing like your typical nighttime lavender 
lotion because I'm not a massive fan of those. Like I don't mind lavender. Um, but for me, yeah, it's not like hugely relaxing just by itself. Whereas I think the combination of other ingredients that this has got um, gives it like a really unique scent. You can sense the lavenders there, but there's there's other things as well. So um, it says on the side here, comfortingly sweet tonka, absolute gent gently blurs with lavender flower to hush your thoughts ready for a peaceful night's sleep. Um, which to me sounds amazing. A multi-floral scent lingers on the skin and conjures up visions before twilight. There's big promises <laughs> that we've got there. Um, I'm not quite sure if I was transported quite that far, but I really did find it, um, yeah, just a lovely process, I guess, firstly, of putting the lotion on. Um, to be honest, I don't always remember or feel like I have the energy to put body lotion on every time I get out of the shower or before I go to bed. Um, but just as a really nice kind of way to settle down before bed and to relax, um, I did find it a really nice process putting on uh, the sample that I got and I was particularly using it on my neck and back muscles where I'm getting this kind of muscle tension and the muscle knots and I did feel that it helped with that. Um, if only just to make me feel a bit more relaxed, which, you know, I, I do find my pain is quite linked into stress and tension. So those lovely scents are, are really nice and, and I think do help to get you feeling a bit more relaxed before bed. Um, and also just breathing in those scents. Um, you know, it's quite a long lasting scent, I would say, and quite a strong scent. So yeah, it is something that once you put your pajamas on, you can still really smell it. And um, yeah, I think that's al almost something nice as well that it can take your mind off your worries if you if you've got a lovely smell. Um, so yeah, I would really recommend that. Um, I just noticed a sticker here that says this product was made by Dan on the fifteenth of December, twenty twenty two. Best used fresh, um, and then it's got a used by date of. 15th of February actually oh no 2024 we're okay I was <laughs> slightly worried I needed to uh, lather this on um but yeah it comes in three sizes this one was around 18 pounds this is the middle size um obviously the bigger size you go the more value for money it is but yeah I wasn't sure how long it would last so I didn't want to go crazy with the big size but I'll see see how I get on with that I think the other sizes were maybe around nine pounds and 30 pounds um but yeah, don't quote me on that. And then back to um, the CBD side of things, which you can tell I'm a fan of. I did want to try out um, the CBD bath bomb. Um, so this is obviously the same range as the bottom and C bar. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of the same ingredients. This product contains cannabidiol. <laughs> I'm sure that I've said that right cannabidiol, commonly known as CBD oil, for its non-intoxicating, relaxing qualities. The raw material is made of 10% CBD mixed with 90% hemp oil. This in turn is used as a percentage that provides 25 milligrams of CBD per 190 grams of the item. An afternoon soak in the bath can aid rest, elevate mood, help focus and provide self-care. Add this smoky sandalwood patchouli and cannabis oil bath bomb into the mix you're sure to discover your reset button run your bath and drop it in so um yeah i was wondering why it was called the 420 bar i did think maybe that's the time you're meant to be having a relaxing bath and that does sound <laughs> like it's the case so yeah i might attempt that actually because i think the sooner you get these things into your, your like the earlier you get these things into your day the better really um sometimes it can be tempting to just leave like the self-care and the relaxing things until just before bed when really it's almost a bit late if you've had like a really super stressful day and then you're trying to kind of <laughs> reverse that uh, definitely try that out at 420 and I think it is actually as well as the CBD oil I think it is sandalwood I know I'm a real fan of sandalwood uh, but it's a really unique and special combination that smell so I don't think I'll be getting tired of that anytime soon um oh I've just found one section that's only got um the polystyrene in so that's a bit disappointing <laughs> I should have bought more things so the final item that I got is another 
um, bubble bar. So this one I think was the is it the sleepy bubble bar? I'm just having a look. Yeah, this is a sleepy bubble bar. I was tempted to go for the smaller size of this, um, but then I just thought, hey, let's <laughs> let's just go for it. Um, but yeah, I was trying to hit my forty-five pound free delivery mark um, as closely as I could, so that might have been why. But um, yeah, this is from the same range as the body lotion and has, yeah, exactly the same smell. Really, really nice. And I just thought because I've got on so well with the um, bubble bar style with the CBD oil, this is definitely worth a go. So I'm looking forward to trying out crumbling this into the bath and then following up with some of the sleepy body lotion afterwards. Um, so yeah, it just, in terms of the description, it just says cozy clouds of sweet lavender crumble under the tap while you run a bath to conjure clouds of fluffy lavender and Tonka absolute. Um, keep the cloud cool and dry between uses and bring it out when you need to catch some Z's. So yeah, I'll be bringing that out <laughs> every day in that case. Um, so yeah, that's everything that I bought. Um, really excited to try all of those things out and um yeah to see how they go and see if there's any new favorites um and i'd be really interested to hear especially if you're like a long-term lush connoisseur any particular products that that you've tried out that you feel help with relaxation and, and muscle relaxation um as well as getting to sleep i know they also do some lovely massage bars so they do different ones of those one of them is infused with cbd oil so i think that's definitely worth a try i did try one of those um in the past uh which they randomly gave me for free one time years ago when i went into a store and i really liked the concept of it but for me because you have to spend quite a lot of time warming it in your hands well not that long but for me when my hands are sore just um sort of the process of having to warm it in your hands in order to then get the oil to rub on your body Sometimes if my pain is bad, that's um, feels like a bit too much effort. I'd rather just go for a lotion or something I could throw in the bath. But I think, yeah, the idea behind those is really nice. So I might try one out at some point. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and maybe it's given you some ideas of some things that you could use to, to treat yourself and also just to help with, yeah, getting some rest and relaxation. Mm -hmm.